Yo, BJ Godot with the Daily BJ Workout 3, Dumbbell Base. Now, I recommend, don't recommend, you need a lighter pair of dumbbells and a heavier pair of dumbbells for this workout. You're going to do a light dumbbell circuit and a heavy dumbbell circuit. Light, I mean you start with 2.5 to 5 pounds, no more than 10. Heavy means usually 10 to 20 pounds. A pair of 25s on the heavy one destroys me. So again, you don't need a lot of weight on this, but you do need a mix of loads because some movements are faster, more explosive, and need that light load. It's a good contrast of loads all the way through. So circuit one, light dumbbell. PDF has the full workout instructions. We're going to start with jack presses. So the dumbbells start here, go with the palms facing, grip very shoulder friendly. And all we're going to do is get on the balls of the feet. We're going to simultaneously jack out, press overhead, but then make it smooth and rhythmic, fast, explosive, quick, Great for those fast twitch fibers, great for getting the heart rate up, melting fat, getting that cardio going, all right? From there, rotational punches. So I'm gonna be like this as I pivot across, reach, 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 reach. So come over, we're going neutral to over, neutral to over, neutral, all right? Pivot the feet, rotate the hips, and fight to keep the arms at shoulder level. Don't just come here, extend all the way through and reach. Get that serratus anterior muscle fully protracting those shoulder blades while not elevating, keeping them down and rock that out. So good, again, tens will destroy you on that. From there, discus left, discus right. I'm gonna pivot the feet, rotate the hips, load up just like a discus. The off hand is a stopper. So load the hips, explode through, load, Explode, load, explode. This arm is straight, no arm movement at all, just all hips. You'll do both sides, okay? The heavier dumbbell work coming up right now. We got ISO, Bulgarian, hammer curl to press. Stay on the same side the whole set, then switch legs. So what I'm gonna do is get to the bottom position of Bulgarian split squat. I'm gonna hold that isometrically Knee hovers just above the ground, and then curl to press while holding that position. So hammer curl to press right from in a Bulgarian split squat isometric hold. This will change your life. Do the best you can with it, and you gotta do both sides. All right, boxer bench thrusters. Palms facing, you're gonna sit down to the box, ideally set to the point where thighs are parallel to the floor. Slightly lower, slightly higher, based on what's comfortable for you, without rounding the back. And I'm gonna drive up, touch, go, sit, boom. So you're actually sitting down on the bench, but it's gonna kind of auto-correct your form, clean it up, keep it smooth, even in a state of fatigue. Whole body movement, thrust or squat to press. Finishing ski or swing, feet are closer together, so you can't squat that much because more of that hip dominant, posterior chain backside movement that I want. Highly metabolic, so hinge, explode, hinge, explode, hinge, explode, hinge, explode. They get harder, coming all the way overhead, increases range of motion, but also deceleration demands. So a pair of 25s will feel like 35s are heavier on the way down because gravitational load, all right? Key is back is flat, you finish like a downhill skier. Great workout. Don't poop your panties. Bye.